For many, stepping through the doors of Man Must Work is not just about the food items, but the nostalgic feeling of good old Mama's Kitchen, the familiar Nigerian groceries, an opportunity of long time no see, and get comfortable with ever familiar native tongues. <laughs> Some homemade puff is the first offering of welcome. And can anyone resist? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody say amen. amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to let you be you. You know, I want you to be your Oprah. At the heart of the African Caribbean food market, a business that has been in existence for more than two decades are Queen Kay and her husband, Chef Danny G. They don't just run a food market, but a place that serves as a cultural hub, a taste of home, and a testament to the community's resilience and connection. And we also have things that people from the Caribbean, Jamaica, Trinidad, uh, Cuba, Haiti. So we have like an intersection of cultures. That's why we dubbed it Little Africa. In the whole of the Bay Area, nobody makes a gig bread. So we want to kind of like introduce that into the community. You know, the big plan also is to make it a joint where people can come. Every Nigerian, everybody can come in and have a place to go to. My favorite Nigerian meal, I would say, first is porridge. Can I love porridge? Asaro. Mommy makes asaro for them. This is the new place we call the Little Africa. And with Mamos work here, you know anywhere Nigerians are now, the whole place starts bubbling. You come here, you, you, you smell the iru, you smell the yogiri, you smell the suya spice, so it's a huge connector for the community. You see, when you're, like I said, when you're so far away from home, when you come to a place like this, you meet your people, you interact with them, you communicate with them, you commune with them, you know? It takes you way back home, it brings you closer to home. Here in the Bay Area, we don't have what we have like this, yeah. a place that we can come together, that we want to sit and marry with each other. Mamos work has been in the community for, you know, for going to 30 years now. So it only makes sense when they open a whole new location that actually their own building, it's only right that we come as a community, we come together to celebrate that. You don't get a chance to go to Nigeria. Come to Man Must Work, you get a taste of it. Unveiling over. So what's cooking? <laughs> As the steam from the original Nigerian party Jollof fry fills the air, DJ Tunde is mixing beats. After beats. After beats. 